Hey guys, Dr. Davin Lim, board certified laser dermatologist. Uh, today we'll be talking about the future or where I think the future of lasers lie. Uh, and that's called hybrid laser resurfacing. Uh, it's not a new term and for most laser dermatologists we've been practicing this for the last decade. And that's to basically to use many different lasers within the same treatment. So at any given time when you see me working on patients, I'm using at least um, two energy devices, sometimes even three. And we combine all of these energy devices in the same treatment. So in other words, we use lasers of different wavelengths. Now, the, one of the first people to actually market this is a company called Cyton. Uh, and we do use their lasers. So that's called the Halo laser, which is basically combining a Fraxel laser together with an Erbium laser. So that is uh, the future of laser resurfacing, is actually combining different wavelengths. The reason being is that we get a better outcome. So in this example, I'll show you what I use to actually rejuvenate my face. I, I used a special laser made by a company called Quanta. So it's called a U laser. It's a funny name, but it actually does work pretty well. So my aim was to actually have a low downtime laser, which gave me a little bit of collagen stimulation, uh, pore size reduction, um, and just to maintain things. So it wasn't a radical um, laser resurfacing procedure, and uh, it suited my skin type uh, with the parameters I dialed in. So watch carefully, and I'll show you how uh, we incorporate two wavelengths uh, in the one laser. So guys, um, this is the laser of choice. It's called a U-laser. You probably wouldn't have heard of it. It's made by um, Quanta System. Um, and I believe uh, this te technology behind it is fabulous. Uh, we've got, I mean, we're first generation Fraxel over here, which is absolutely rubbish. We've got um, the Super Duper Ultra Pulse made by, by Luminous. Uh, this is one of the top lasers, but look, I don't need to go, I don't have scarring, so I don't need to go that deep. Um, that just is a piece of, sorry, crap. Um, also, we've got in this room, we've got the um, prefractional, so I can use an erbium laser. I can use a halo laser as well, um, which is basically non-ablative, but I'm using erbium. Erbium's not as good compared to um, CO2. Um, this Infini, could I, do I want to use Infini? No, I don't because, um, yeah, I believe this is best for acne scarring. Um, other lasers I could use, one of my favorite all-time lasers are in here. I can use the CO2 core, which is this one here. Um, but the energy settings, not enough for me. Um, plus, I do want a non-ablative. Non can use this which is basically dermal toning or my favorite which is pico sure this one will help with my skin pores but it won't give me uh, as good tightening compared to the co2 so we're back to the u laser so why do i like the u laser it's because this is um it can be configured so i've got the um, wavelength which is 1540 so that's non-ablative, which is very much like the old Fraxel 1550, which, yeah, yeah, it can work. Um, so I'm going to actually increase that pulse duration there. Um, and we're delivering it maximum at 8 watts. In fact, I'll probably put the pulse duration a little bit shorter. Um, I'm going to use at the maximum here. So the CO2 part, I can adjust. So 30 and the pulse duration, yeah, I'll probably go to, let's say, 0 0.75. It can go all the way down. Shall we stack it? Shall we brave? No, I don't. I'm just going to use a normal um, stack with that. And a delay of only one millisecond with that. So, um, those are my settings. Uh, and that's the handpiece. Um, and... I'm going to fractionate realistically only treat between uh, three to four uh, percent of my skin and we'll see how it heals up. So that's a U laser, fantastic laser. I find this really useful. You can control everything from the left there right down to the middle, um, your power settings there, uh, mix it in with different lasers. Um, this is an unbelievable laser, seriously, it's like an iPhone, you know next generation compared to uh, all the other lasers here. But like I said, 
the reason why I'm using this laser is because of my particular skin type uh, and what I want to achieve in the downtime. Um, and these are the settings which I use. So um, yeah, stay tuned. Hey guys, Friday afternoon, guess what I'm doing? I'm getting lasered, so um, it's a long weekend. Um, so I'm getting the U laser done to firm up my skin, treat some blemishes, uh, and hopefully stimulate some collagen. So the U laser is what's known as a hybrid laser, which uses two lasers in the one setting. So we use something called a non-ablative, which is very close to a Fraxel laser, but the beauty about this is that I can actually use a CO2 laser as well that goes really deep but um, low density. So the whole idea is to stimulate collagen, heal time hopefully, um, three to four days, I've got a long weekend to recover and um, yeah, pain is not an issue and I've got Katie doing that which is fabulous. So guys, looking forward to the results. Thanks for watching, bye. <laughs> Okay, guys, it's all over. Um, that was like really quick. It was well, like less than 10 minutes. So um, yeah, pain scale 2 out of 10. We're using a, a special ointment, the Bantan Fatty Ointment. I'm going to leave this on for tonight and possibly tomorrow because I'm actually working tomorrow. So slightly red, um, but it'll be fine. Uh, healing up time, it's about three days, three to five days. And I've got to keep out the sun during that time. Uh, and just use lots and lots of moisturizer between then and healing. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a comparison. We're going to look at before and afters after just one treatment. So one treatment using the U laser uh, and one treatment only. So we'll look at the before and afters. No further shopping, just as it is, as real as it gets. Hey guys, this is 72 hours post-op. Um, actually, it's less than 72. It's uh, around 60 odd hours. Healing up really nicely. I've been using lots and lots of um, QV intensive. I also cheat, so I use some Advantin Fatty Ointment, which is a steroid ointment to help me heal up quicker. Uh, I'm back to work tomorrow. We've got a long weekend. I've got these tiny grids. Um, as soon as I can feel them, I guess, uh, slough off, I'll give it a good scrub, but being very careful not to remove the scabs. So you'll always hear me say, if it scabs, it scars. So at the end of the day, what you want to do is grease for peace. All my expressions. Uh, if you keep it really moist, it won't scab and it'll heal up a lot quicker. That's a secret for wound healing. Uh, and the grids, they will go in the next day or two. Um, and I'll show you the before and afters right at the end. Thanks, guys. The marketing team at Quanta needs to understand that it takes four to five months after laser resurfacing to see the maximum results. So here I am, five months after. Look at the before and after. This is an improvement in skin texture, tone, and overall quality. Look at this, especially under my eye area. There's a marked improvement in the uh, collagen production and tightness around my eyes. Now, the greatest area of concern has been addressed, which is basically skin laxity marked by the X. Has that been improved? Absolutely. Am I happy with the overall results? 100%. So in my situation, this is perfect. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Um, so what are my thoughts on uh, the future? Um, I think it's great. Um, you can see that laser really um, gave, uh, in my opinion, I was really very happy with it because of the fact that it gave me what I wanted, basically a little bit more uh, collagen stimulation, a little bit more tightness around my eye area. As you can see with the before and after photos, it also decreased my pore sizing, pigmentation, evened up my skin texture, and most importantly, a minimal downtime. I was back at work the next day, um, and I had a little bit of grids on day three, but within day four, everything was fine. So it gives us the flexibility, and you can see that with laser technology nowadays, it's more than just pressing one or two buttons like the old-fashioned fashion Fraxel or even you know the Ultra Pulse, which is a great laser. But at the same time, it's an old-fashioned, I guess, uh, uh, software which they're using. So it's really exciting times because um, yeah, I mean, technology really is um, improving. So what do I think about the U-Laser, the final thoughts? I think it's a great laser. Uh, I don't think it's the best. Uh, you can't have the best of everything. It's a great laser in the sense that it's meant for, how should I say this? Um, 
milder cases compared to what I see. I still need my fully ablated lasers and I still need super powerful, uh, really high wattage lasers like the Ultra Pulse and the old fashioned lasers like that because they do give a lot more energy and, and even with instruments like the Infini where I need a lot more power because of the uh, conditions I see. So at the end of the day, it's a good laser, um, but I still think it needs to be a little bit more powerful, uh, especially with the CO2 component. Uh, they get away around that using an increased pulse duration, which technically is, 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 is bad. Um, but still, for low downtime rejuvenation, for mild cases, it's a great laser. What are my thoughts in regards to acne scarring? Some of the people would ask me, do I use this for acne scarring? The answer is that I used it for a year. Um, and Yes, if you've got nothing else, um, it's better than the old-fashioned Fraxel. Yes, there's no doubt about it, uh, 100%. Is it better than the Halo? Absolutely. It's much better than the Halo. The reason being is the Halo goes to only 100 microns, while this one goes much deeper than that. Um, so it's better than um, a Halo hybrid laser. Uh, it's better than the old-fashioned Fraxels. Um, but... For acne scarring, um, I would not rate it for acne scarring. Um, the reason being is that to increase, to get to the depth of where I need to go uh, and to get maximal collagen stimulation, uh, we can get there, but we have to cheat. We actually have to increase the pulse duration of the CO2. We have to pulse stack, we have to do lot, lots of things like that. That leaves a bigger hole, um, and not only that, post-inflammatory skin color changes and gridding. All lasers do that, um, but I think in this situation, um, there are other lasers that give less gridding um, and uh, better outcomes in the long run. But guys, that's my take on the laser. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I do one um, educational video every Friday or every Saturday morning, Brisbane time. So stay tuned. Um, I'll see you again, same time, same place next Saturday. Please like, share, subscribe. Um, this channel is going places, like I always say, and uh, thank you very much for all of those who subscribe uh, for the past few months because it's really shot up in um, subscriber rates. I'll see you next week. Bye.